Welcome back and to Holy Orders. We hope that you have been keeping up with all of this because it's it, been hard. Though this this is golden. You you again. <laughs> you do not get commentary like this on any other Catholic channel no, with any other priests with any other kind of you know priest, people talk. So priest. so this is where you are going to find this information, this necessary information, this powerful information here. And I'm yep. just going to yep. step back because I have yep. never, yeah, unlike you for marriage, uh, I have never. Attended an ordination? Been in holy, you've, you've never, been involved with yes, holy orders. But you've never attended an ordination. No. Okay. And so okay. I have yeah. nothing to say about holy orders because I don't know. A stance you probably could have taken for marriage, but didn't. Um but go ahead. Uh, yeah, I know okay. about holy the orders. It's 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 plural because there are three of them. And there's not just one. Very good. Three. The diaconate, becoming a deacon, the presbyterate, becoming a priest, and the episcopacy becoming a bishop. You're still um, a deacon, right? I am a priest. There are, there's a friend of ours who keeps calling me a deacon. He's getting annoying. But uh, but we love him. And we, we, we love him. Yes, again, he's somebody else. He's, he's a third. Anyway, anyway. Um, so deacon, priest, bishop. Uh, in that order, not necessarily one leaping to the other. Um, generally, a deacon well, has... No, a deacon can't become a bishop. Uh, a, a deacon can become, a, can become a cardinal, and that's something that's different. That's not part of the orders. I can orders. become a cardinal. Yes, you can become a cardinal too. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But you no, know, it's it's not I'm about my just because. Soon. Yes, very good. <laughs> contact just, the pope. Contact the pope. <laughs> just because you are a priest doesn't mean you're ever going to become a bishop. Right. Deacons can choose to remain deacons or become priests. Which and is so what you did. That is a yes, 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 yes. You so remained so, a deacon. No, I became a priest. <laughs> uh, so and the necessary path is from deacon to priest and then from priest to bishop so yeah um so if you become a bishop it's because you were a deacon first and then a priest it's well, a let's talk mm -hmm. about that mm -hmm. since i don't know yes and i literally yes. don't know yes um to become a deacon what is required of a deacon status to get to deacon status you have to have a measure of theology um training in theology. Tra training in theology you have to have have some experience in some kind of pastoral ministry um, and then you also have to be unmarried or married. Um, so, <laughs> okay. yes, yes. That okay. seems a very strict requirement. Well, kind of, kind of. You have to be so, living or dead. No, married <laughs> or unmarried. So if you are unmarried. Honey, I wasn't comparing marriage oh to death. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> if you are unmarried and become a deacon, you can never get married. But if you are already married and become a deacon, then you can you know, you continue. Remain you, married. You remain in your marriage. Yes, yes, yeah. And your children are, you know, are not bastards. Yes, 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 yes. So you it can is, get all seven. Well, you can get all. You can. You can get all seven. You can't get holy orders again because it is the the first of the, the orders. The yes, order, and so right. first of the sacramental orders. And so, but the thing is, um, so I could become a deacon. You could become a deacon, and then that would. Draw and that's us, as far as I can go. And yeah, it was as far as you can go, but that would draw us even closer together. No. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, then yeah. I would know the truth. Ah, uh, yes, yes, but you already know the truth, I'm sure. Uh, so the, uh, the the thing with being a, a deacon um, is that you are ordained for service. And again, the idea of a deacon was always to be um, one who was conscious of the needs of the local community in which he was a deacon. And his responsibility originally was to the bishop. Um, and not just to a priest, as it is or today, the or, the, or yeah, pastor or priest, but to the bishop. So the bishop would know what are the needs and needs that are practical, like who needed shelter, who needed food, who needed a job, who needed so clothing. So a deacon doesn't have to be at a parish. No, 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 not, 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 not so. Not. The, the idea of the presbyter was to be someone who was an advisor to the bishop, that the bishop mm -hmm. is the one who should be in charge of the diocese, and he is. Um, but sometimes you get priests in their own little parishes who think that their parish is the diocese, and that's a bit, you know, problematic. I think, so. I kind of think that's, so the deacons were advisors to the bishop? The deacons were those who did the grunt work for the bishop. I think Presbyters, that's good... priests... Okay. With the, the, the advisors. With the, the advisors, yes. Okay. To, to, uh, to, to, to the bishop. Um, but in all of this, the idea of priesthood was to be a guide. You know, a guide to understanding what it meant to live in this good earth, uh, the life of a believer. The life of someone who attached his or her life to God, uh, to Christ. Um, and that a priest was, the, the idea of orders, was to help guide. And that's where you get the word order from. Latin ordo, which means guide. So these were these were the guides appointed by God to direct human life into the best possible way of expressing and living our lives here on earth. 
What happens in history is that when Christianity becomes legalized within the Roman Empire, and that was not necessarily a bad thing, it was it was okay thing. When was that? Uh, in uh, 313, 313, but then 380, 381, it becomes the religion of the empire. What happens is, is that Rome was used to having professional priests and professional intermediaries between a god or goddess and the rest of humanity to kind of get it accepted by Romans is that you kind of had to parallel what was already in practice to some extent. And so whereas you had professional... So priests are a pagan addition well, they're, to they're, the it's, Catholic Well, it's, it's like they become... What they're they, not they, real. They, well, they become a, a paganized um, element with, with, within the church upon its legalization. So we should probably so, get rid of them. Well, again, it, that's, again, it becomes interesting <laughs> because, again, who can preside at Eucharist, you know? There's the priest. there's some again, but again in the early church, you know, there is this woman Lydia in Paul's in the Acts of the Apostles who basically presided at table in her house. Does that mean the table was an altar? Would that mean that she presided at Eucharist? Again, can't say yes, can't say no. Depends on your but political perspective. Exactly, and then Phoebe, then Phoebe in Paul's letter to the. Galatians, I think, uh, that, that, that he recommends her as a fellow minister working, you know, in, in, in the community. Well, you know, she just, you know, somebody who hangs around, does she do the dishes? Is she does, does she do the laundry? Wow. Or does wow. she lead the community, you know, at, at, at Eucharist in you the celebration? You know, excuse culture. me, excuse me. This, the, the, this whole understanding, you know, of, of what it meant to be, you know, priest, again, women deacons. Again, so this is a current conversation within the church itself. Yeah. Uh, there the is Pope, evidence. The yes, Pope has yes, green lighted. Yes, yes. yes. The, 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 consideration, the consideration of, of women entering right. into the deacons. Can you just make a decision? Well, that's... But again, <laughs> takes time, and there's a whole bunch of people who... Why can't you say, hey... Backs would get all up because, you know... I mean, again, um, going back to confirmation. Yes. yes. Some random pope in the middle yes. of the in, in, 400s in, 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 the third, in, the, in the 300s, in the middle of the 400s. 300s. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Said, I, I want to be do important. confirmation. Look at me. So why Look can't at me. Pope yep. Francis say... Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have women deacons. Well, you never know. You if never you know. Don't care, it, if you don't, it, it, if you care yes. about that and yes. want to be against it, too bad. Right, but back to the idea of this professional class of people again. So what you get then is priesthood as becoming a profession rather than a ministry that is uh, designated by the Holy Spirit, you know, descending upon an individual or recognized upon an individual to be able to lead the community, which is, again, chrism is used for, for, for priesthood because it is recognizing the fact that not that the spirit is already in the person who is going to be designated a priest, but the spirit now is coming. Wait a upon. second. Let's go back to baptism and your criticism of um, yes. confirmation. Yes. yes, yes, yes. When you're baptized, yes. you're baptized as priest, prophet, and king, king, leader, slash yeah, leader, whatever you want to say now, right? Yes. King, queen, yes. Why do you need to be redone when you become a priest? Very if you've question. already been See? a priest, and then been baptized yes. with yes. chrism oil yes. Yes. as a priest, yes. and your criticism of why do we keep using chrism for everything? It's not important after baptism, right? So yeah. yes, but well, we're using chrism for this for a similar sacrament. You know, like twice. And that's, confirmation. And that's confirmation, baptism, and something holy is something is like. something. There's a little bit of a difference with holy orders. Now, again, that whole question Force about service. what does it mean to be priest, prophet, and king, and priest at baptism? Again, this is where some try. Well, no, some try to make it. Well, this is kind of priesthood, like in a fluffy way. But well, holy it, orders are the priests that really matter. It doesn't, and that's priest, not what. It, that's not what. Just to it clarify, is. doesn't yes. priest at baptism mean evangelizer? Someone who's responsible for spreading the faith. Uh, someone who's responsible for spreading the faith, but also helping another person to recognize God in their life. And also perhaps being... Evangelizing. Yeah, well, somebody who helps also to pray on behalf of another individual. Oh, I pray which, for you all the time. And I pray, believe me, I pray for you every day, every day. So, so this is where... Everyone has the ability to pray and intercede, you know, for each other. That's why we have the prayer of the faithful at Mass. It is the greatest responsibility that we demonstrate in the Mass is to be able to pray for each other, which is, again, the needs. Um, in the ministerial priesthood, as sometimes it's called, that you get holy orders, that understanding of what it means to be guide, you know, again, of, of the best ways to pray. Not the appropriate, again, proper ways to pray, but the best ways to guide pray. Guide yes. being servant. 
Okay, yes, exactly, exactly, because we are ordained to serve. So de deacons, in a very profound, particular way, but all more hands on, of, more hands on. But even, but even priests are supposed to be hands on. You know, priests should not. What's the fear. saying? What's the oh. saying about chalices and calluses? And calluses? Well, exactly. <laughs> Last week, it's stupid priest, and I say that <laughs> stupid priests are like these hands were made for chalices, not for calluses. Uh, this professional class, unfortunately, becomes more and more particular to itself. And it so again, becomes something that Jesus didn't start. No, and you can't say that the apostles were made priests. They were not. They were not made some priests. Were married, a, correct. Some were Well, and again, up until 1215, the Fourth Lateran Council, there was never a strict rule of celibacy. That comes in at 12 and 1215. With what the fourth happens Lateran. is, again, is that priesthood becomes this special class of humanity. It becomes humanity 2.0, 3.0, which it isn't in any way. 0 .5. And it yes, and it becomes <laughs> divorced from life itself when it's supposed to be responsible for ministering in life itself. And so you get priests who are, you know, trying to be angels on earth, which is absurd and ridiculous and yet unable to integrate their humanity, especially their sexuality. And because they are unable to do so, because it's the truth, and they, because they are I able understand. to integrate their sexuality, they become freaks. And it's and to spread the blame, I think too many, not me, people mm -hmm. put priests on a pedestal. Yes, again, yes. Not me. No, again, I believe the people, not him, not well. him. Okay. And there are still some priests who are treated like that today, who want to be treated like that today, and that's not what priesthood is about. And that, again, it leads to a lonely, sad, unhappy life. And again, if the gospel is about joy and spreading joy... And love. To, and love. Then, you know, to be a person incapable of those kinds of things makes sure will frustrate the, the ministry. We'll frustrate what this is all about. Um, and so... So there may be a podcast about holy orders. Yeah! Because I'm very fired up about it. Oh, I am! Yeah! Yeah. But we so, will talk about it. We will talk about it more. But again, we can talk about holy orders. Yeah, we could. I mean, we, well, we, should, we should talk about holy orders on podcast. Yeah, I would do that. I would do. I would do that. Of course, you. I'll would. talk about it. Talk about it. I'll talk about it. I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So this appetizer, holy orders. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back for our final one. Yep. What's the final one? Anointing of the sick. Which is your sometimes your final. Sometimes it is. Not always. Not always. Not always. Yes. Okay.